Hi, Ken Adams here, and welcome to My House, My Home. And as we do each time this year, I bring on Kathy Boykin, and she gets to talk about signage, signage in your yard. It also happens to be a political year. I swear, Kathy, every year is a political year, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what are some of the things for people to be on mindful of as, as uh as they look to a gardening season, uh, putting in new lawns, putting in new fences, new everything uh, here uh, in the spring and summer, what should they be aware of in terms of digging? Well, we have in the last couple of years here now with the COVID, of course, a lot of people haven't seen this, but I don't know if you can you see this? Yes. Yes. This is yeah. our new brochure and it's specifically for homeowners. Okay. Um, there's two sides to it. You can go on to our website, um, ieucc811.org, and you can see it. And it tells the homeowners what exactly the utilities will come and locate. Okay. Got dashed lines and dotted lines, and they might be surprised to find out they're an underground facility owner themselves because yes. they have put in lines between their maybe their house and their garage, their house and their pool, their house and a workshop, or you know something like that, or decorative lighting or something like that that the right. utilities know nothing about, and so they won't locate those parts. But um, um, it's a it's a good brochure. It's on our website. You can see it very clearly. Okay. Um, again, it's you, you uh, want me to that out to them, or they can just see it on the website. Yes, they can see it. Uh -huh. okay. it's this the same one that I'm holding up here for all you right. it has all kinds of really good information on it. We've had lots of people tell us that have seen it now that you know, thank you because we've kind of wondered about how all these swing, these things go. Right. But anyway, um, as far as political signs, yes, <laughs> <laughs> they're out there again. And uh, when I see them, especially in bad places where you know darn well, there's the lighting for that for the big lights that are right there or the traffic lights or especially there's spots going like onto the freeway and stuff yes, um yes. there's there's no marks on the ground like they have called those in and asked for them so you know uh we hear at the meetings that they expect you know something like that to happen but they especially with those metal bars and it's just a very confined space so when they're trying to also put in their signs there um all those wires are there somewhere yeah. so it's, it's not good and we don't um, want them to find out where they are either uh, no. you know by accident yeah um the uh, the there's a group working on the state law again. Um, each each part of it is taking um, a piece that's either not understood well or something that should be added. And that is one of them, again, that they're going to potentially put in something about political signs. It, that, I mean, using the word political. Mm -hmm. um, uh, at this time, there is... Um, the word signs very definitely in right. the, the dig law uh, and whether people want to think of those, <laughs> those political signs as political sign signs, they are, and they should be calling um, if they end up digging something up with it. No, it starts with a thousand dollar fine. Um, oh, 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 so I can imagine it, it can go way above that. If he, if oh yeah. Something major. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, and, and I think, you know, a lot of it is, the politicians, those running for office, have friends and campaign people out there doing a lot of this. And yes. my guess is they're not telling their friends and associates about the law and the information. Uh, and so that just exacerbates the problem. Yeah. The ones that are in people's yards, um, the homeowner, if the homeowner is going to put it in under the dig law, they have the first 12 inches they can put something like okay. it you know, without having to call. But anything that's out there in the right of ways or, you know, I mean, the funny part is when you see them right next to the pipeline signs that are yeah. indicating, hey, you know, we're right here. Yeah. A gas or petroleum pipeline. Yeah. yeah. What, what could happen, right? Yeah. All kinds of good, exciting things like a big yeah. blow up or, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, you don't want any of it to happen. No, so. you don't. You don't. You know. Yeah. So what, what, what should people do? I, I noticed on the 
uh, county uh, uh, elections site that they do have information about political signs. Oh. So people can go there, and I don't. I didn't go into it to see if it goes to your site, but there is information there. So I know the county's trying to get information out. Ah, oh. you know, um, their council's meeting is next Tuesday again, and uh, it's the second Tuesday of each month. And I'm going to put that on the agenda just to bring it up again and see sure. uh, if uh, we have a couple county people that attend, and yeah. um, we'll, you know, we'll see if. Uh, they know anything about it or, you know, anything along that line. There are several states that have it in their law very, you know, mm. very strongly. They have had uh, repercussions sort of like from um, some of the politicians themselves sure. um, not wanting that to be in there. But my gosh, if there's an accident. It's about safety. Yeah. Safety first. Safety comes first. I can only think of, you know, a father or a mom who's out there, even with their child, to show them that they're out putting a sign up and all of the things, because there's a lesson to be learned there, you know, about campaign coming up and, and so forth. And then something happens to that mom or dad. Yeah. And, I mean, I mean, it, it could go that far even. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, so it's it's the, the the verbiage that we want out there is the same as it's been for forever. Yeah. I mean, nothing's changed since we talked to you last, Kent. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's just... But does it get better or does it get worse each year? Um, you know, um, the, the COVID pandemic was kind of interesting. I know it slowed down a lot of people's jobs and, you know, businesses closed and all that kind of stuff. But I can tell you, we did not. We, we went full bore through the whole thing. I think at the do-it-yourselfers that we're going to do a new deck or, you know, put up something. Uh, just, uh, it was crazy. Right. And I will say also, though, that the bigger utility said that they had a lot more homeowner dig-ups yes. during, during that time because that they hadn't even thought about calling was the story. No. But um but we, our numbers of dig ups were up through um, twenty and twenty one, and um, how are things going for this year? Well, so far it seems to be kind of leveling out a bit, and okay. the, the the real construction 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 has started back up again, pretty right. good. Yeah. Um, the only thing that's slowing it down is waiting for materials. So, you know, that's kind of yeah. Everybody hears about that one too, so. Yes, I'm hearing a lot about that from folks yeah. at their houses uh, months, months, and months and months behind in, yeah. in businesses and the whole supply yeah. chain is, is uh, very challenging. Yeah. Uh, let, let's tell people so that they know exactly where to go on your website. Let's give them the address. Okay, the website is www.ieucc811. Dot org, And that stands for the Inland Empire Utility Coordinating Council. You can type that into Facebook or, you know, anything sure. like that, and it will come up there to all okay. this same information and uh, how to contact the call center. Um, there and, is and how, does that, how does that work? If, if I'm going to put a sign up or do something in my yard, um, I, I, I call on, let's say it's today. A Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, well, when will I? When can I expect to have someone come out and be ready to to work? They should be there on Wednesday or Thursday. They could show up on Tuesday too if you right, call right. early enough in the day. But they have they have Wednesday and Thursday to do their work, and then you can dig on Friday. Okay. If, okay. If the marks are there, you know. Okay, so right, um, right. And you can call eight one one, or you can and talk to an operator and put it in, or you can. Um, you can go to www.callbeforeyoudig.org and, and select the state you want, which, of course, right now is Washington. Right, right. And um, um, you can go ahead and put the information in. Uh, it's, sometimes it saves you a little wait on the, on the phone line to go right, ahead right. and do it yourself. And uh, I will say that, um, and as this is a compliment to homeowners, that they know where they are, they know where they live. Yeah. They, put, they put down the best information. I mean, yes. you yes. know, I mean, when you're talking to somebody on a phone line, even though you're asked to repeat it and everything else, um, 
it can happen that the numbers aren't exactly right, right. or they or the ad or the name of the street is misunderstood or something like that. Sure. So, so the ones that you put in yourself are uh, considered considerably more accurate than oh, than the ones that actually go through the call center. And I'm not saying that to pick on the call center. I'm just saying that phone lines. Um, you know, there's there's some distraction while it's going on, and sure. and, uh, uh, and as I said, they do repeat everything they say. And if I I can tell you myself, I've listened to recordings where <laughs> the operator, you know, the operator has repeated what they thought they heard, and then the caller will say yes. Although the reason and, I'm even calling and listening to that is because something had happened, and uh, you know, the call did not go through, like like the homeowner had, had wanted it to, or the contractor for that matter. So, okay. yeah. So well, let, let's plan to have you back on in August or September as we get ready for the fall season too. That because sounds good. the summer August, season coming up. Yes. August uh, 11th is 811 day. You uh, know, it's 811, August 11th, you know, 811. Yeah. And so that's always a good time. Um, we, we, um, we give more call before you dig items to the to the rental centers and you know that kind of stuff right then just to to bring it out more for people too. So and I asked the question because I know you you had a hip operation and everything. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yes, okay. thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm not disco dancing yet, are you? No, no, no. I'm still using a cane. I'm I've left I'm out of the wheelchair, I'm out of the walker, and I'm using a cane if I go outside, yeah. but you know, on, on terrain that I'm not used to. In the, in yeah. my house and office, I don't need it. But uh so it's coming Thank along. You. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kathy, good to talk to you and uh let's hope everyone stays safe this summer, okay? Yes. Absolutely. Thank you for having us again. Thanks, Ken. No, no problem. Take care. Thanks for watching My House, My Home. See you next time.